In this video, we are going to talk about the anchor. And for that, uh, we're going back to basics. So I brought Yap a beautiful bow to uh, practice with. So Yap has a tendency to, when he pulls back, have his elbow quite low. So his elbow is below the angle of the arrow. Um, it's not always a problem, but I feel like Yap is getting some high and low uh, arrows because of it. So we're going to see if we can get him to uh, up his elbow a little bit without putting too much tension on his shoulder, because that's uh, what might happen. So uh, it's up to him now. Uh, basically, I'm giving him this light bow so that it doesn't tire him uh, while he's in, uh, in full draw and he doesn't have to put too much effort into holding it so he can spend time uh, practicing his anchor. So I can see that there's like a little bit of a gap uh, over the hand of Yap. So I would like him to go away from his face a little bit. So away from your face and then come in from the side and really find yourself a nice and steady anchor. That was a lot better, but uh, for my feel a little bit too far back. So, uh, this looks very comfortable to me. I don't know how it feels for you. Uh, feels quite a bit of tension here. Okay, do you feel, do you feel like you're pulling your elbow up with this? It's a little, little, uh, how do you call that? A little sting. Okay. So it might be that, uh, that Yap is just uh, not able to pull up his, uh, his elbow, but uh, I at least want him to have a good connection between his hand and his uh, jaw. So uh, uh, I'm going to see if we can figure something out that makes him have the good connection without having to pull up his uh, elbow too much. So. Uh, Now, without pulling this up, does this look uh, or feel fine to you? Yeah. Okay, because your elbow is higher now than it is when you're drawing your own bow back. So it might be that you're overdrawing your own bow uh, just a tad too much, and then because uh, because you have a long draw length and you still want to get that anchor point, you're doing this rather than just pulling back. So. We're gonna see if uh, you can get, so uh, pull back this bow one more time and have that feel uh, in your head and then pull your own bow back uh, with your eyes closed without a clicker. So get that nice anchor point. Elbow looks good. Actually your whole shooting, your whole position looks good right now. So yeah, feel what you're doing right now. And then uh, you can give this bow to me, grab your own bow and uh, put an arrow on it, but uh, don't put it under the clicker. So what we're gonna do now is that Yap is going to pull back his bow with his eyes closed. Um, and he is going to find that same anchor point that he just had with the other bow and uh, see if he can get into the same posture. Um, his arrow is not under the clicker, so he won't know how far he is uh, since he is also with his eyes closed. So pull back your bow, please. And then uh, close your eyes. Find the anchor point that you had just now. Yeah. So that's about a centimeter short of your draw length. So I would suggest, uh, since you have the room on your clicker, I would suggest putting the clicker a little further away from you so that you don't have to overdraw and pull your elbow down. Because if you're overdrawing, uh, there's a high chance of you doing this, 
So uh, your left shoulder, your left shoulder will go up and your right elbow will go down. And this will give you uh, a lot of height difference in your, in your score. So uh, let's see uh, if we can fix this by uh, putting the clicker in a different position. Um, so uh, let's say uh, a quarter of an inch, maybe uh, a half a centimeter, maybe a centimeter. It doesn't matter that much how far it was exactly, but uh, at least away from him so that he doesn't have to pull as far uh, and he can get more into his uh, nice and relaxed posture with a good anchor. So. so don't move your head, just go to your anchor. So what you're doing now is that before, when you were holding your eyes closed, you were just pulling back, going to your anchor point and lifting up your arm. What you're doing now is that you look at the yellow and then you go a little bit like this with your head. So your head needs to stay still. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand behind him and put my finger on his head so he can feel uh, when he's moving. So I feel it, Yap is pushing against my finger and he, like, he wants to go backwards. Um, it doesn't have to be bad to uh, stand a little backwards with your head, to not have your head exactly in the middle of your shoulders, but then you have to start with your head in that position and don't want to, in your anchor, move it like that. So uh, let's, uh, let's see if, uh, if we can figure this out. Not a lot in my gezicht. And it's okay, uh, Jaap, if you want to look at the clicker and, uh, and keep it at the point of the clicker while you're anchoring, uh, especially now that you're practicing this, this new draw length. Um, you don't have to uh, look at the yellow and expect the clicker to go at the moment that you expect it to go. So just uh, draw back and uh, make sure you don't uh, click it. And if you do, just uh, try again. I mean, we're here to, to learn and to practice. Keep your head still. Go into the anchor position. Elbow looks good now. While extending, I see that your elbow is probably dropping this much. So uh, yeah. I'll uh, film it for you guys so, uh, so you guys can also see it. This one was a little better than the previous one. Obviously, because I, uh, I paid attention to it because you said so. Yeah, yeah. So I pointed it out, and that makes you uh, pay attention to it a little more. But uh, when you draw back and you go into anchor, you're actively pulling your arm back rather than putting your shoulders more in line. So I think that's a good thing for you to practice: pull back and then go through the clicker by doing this rather than pulling with your right arm. Mm -hmm. So an anchor is not uh, called an anchor for nothing. So the moment you draw back and your hand hits your face, uh, it stays there. That's why it's called an anchor and it's not called a drag. So uh, you pull back, your hand is at a certain point at your face. And then the moment you start extending, you do it with the rest, but your hand doesn't move position. It's, it's still in the same position. So for you, that's also a good one um, because you tend to anchor and then pull back like this and that will make your elbow go down as well. So, and that will put tension on your shoulder as well. Whereas if you uh, pull back, anchor and keep it there, you don't have to add any tension or add any pressure on your shoulder. So here is your favorite bow again. And uh, So a good thing uh, to note with this, even though it's a light bow, I always recommend keeping your tab on your fingers so that it feels the same when you draw back your own bow in a minute. So your hand hits your face and now it stays there. So now you extend by pulling these apart. Exactly. And now your elbow moves, but it doesn't move down, it moves backwards. So it stays in the same height. Okay. So uh, let's get your own bow out and uh, see if, uh, if you can make that work. So this hand against your jaw. 
And now it stays there, so I don't move it anymore. Pull back through the clicker. And if all is correct, by not pulling back here, you don't add any tension on the fingers either. So you can keep those relaxed and in the hook, and then your release will automatically feel better as well. But that's a result in the end, but uh, not necessarily anything or something that happens immediately. So, but uh, yeah, I think having the anchor in a solid place will help you in multiple ways is what I'm trying to say. Keep the anchor solid. From here, it looks better. I don't know how it feels for you. A um, little weird. That's, That's how, how, how all things feel when you do them for the first time. You just have to get used to it. But it's not, um, it's not pain, so that's... Okay, no pain is always uh, good. Supporting. looks better from here. So uh, I think uh, from here on out, this is just a whole lot of repetition, as is everything in archery. Um, and, uh, but I think uh, this will help you in getting more consistent and uh, getting more relaxed in the shot. So something to work on. <laughs>